Welcome back to eLearn Tutorials. Today we're going to be using the rubber stamp tool or better known as a clone stamp tool. This tool is very similar to the heating tool except that the clone stamp tool paints a complete copy of whatever you select. The heating brush keeps the highlight shadows of wherever you're painting and only paints the color of your sampling area. As well, the healing brush also blurs the color and ends up with a smudgy edge. To access the stamp tool, is right below the retouching tools. You can also click S on your keyboard and it looks like a stamp. The tools on and above here is very similar to the past tools that we have used in the retouching tools from the sizes to the effect modes, to opacity and all that. Again, you also have a line and all, all samples. Again, a little bit on the line, if you're on this, if this is selected, the sample point stays the same, relatively the same distance no matter where you paint. Get in a good habit of creating a new layer above your background so that any changes to it, you can, you can go back and forth to see what was the original image. So go in and select your brush size. Again, you can use your left bracket to make it smaller or your right bracket to make it bigger. You can also use the control panel up here as well and select your size as well as your hardness if you want a nice softer edge or you might want to make it a hard edge. The left side makes it softer, the right hand makes it harder. Very similar to how we did with the healing brush tool, we need to option alt click on the image to sample from and then release the option alt key and then move the cursor over to the point where you want to clone. You can make your brush a bit bigger. You could do option alt click area. And if you want to, you could drag. But be careful when you do dragging sometimes because you might get an unfavorable result. As you can see now, I'm getting a double line here. So again, that's not what you want. So just be careful when you do that. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like it or share it. And also tell people about it.